Okay. Airfields. Sky Trainer 182. See that thing jump right up? I'm going to tell you this plane here is another one from Airfield that is just pretty much out of the box perfect. Uh, these are the planes that Nitro sell that keep me coming back. Uh, this is a nice big plane for trainers. People that are just beginning, I'd recommend this plane. It's a top wing, so it handles really good. Um, and then, guys, you need just one click in the down this morning. Um, excuse me, I've been drinking Dr. Pepper again. Uh, yeah, this is just another plane. Alright, we're looking good, so let's juice her up and play with her some. I'm going to try and stay close so you can see her. Uh, but she rolls gracefully. Uh, turns real nice. Uh, she goes inverted real good. Let me get her down. I got her too high. See, I know you can't see her. Now let's do a stall real quick. She gives me, you know, if they give you three like that, that is plenty of power. That's showing you you got plenty of power. If you get more than three, you got a lot of power. Or torque, anyway. Um, if you're a beginner and you're trying to decide on which one to get, this, the 400 or 182 go with a 182 top wing first just handles uh, a whole lot better for beginners um, let's go inverted again uh, see she just loves inverted uh, you know for beginners but you can have, I mean, even for the experienced guys, you just have so much fun with this plane. I'm amazed what it can do. And she has got some speed, too. I mean, I'm flying her wide open, guys. You don't have to. And I've got a good remote uh, for you beginners. I've got a lot of throws in this plane. You might want to back them down. As a matter of fact, I know you want to back them down. Uh, but if you're going to stay in it, get you a good remote. Uh, Nitro looks like they got a nice little 9 channel. That looks decent where you can play with them. You know, I've got uh, the throws up, but I've got them also tamed down. A little bit fine-tune them to, to to your feel everybody's a little different so you have to fine-tune them you know your expose expose just slows the uh, uh, the stick down some right around center is all just right around center so it ain't as touchy around center all expose does but you can set the travels. Uh, that way you can put your travels up on the plane really a lot and then uh, turn the travel down on your remote so it doesn't go as far which is nice. And uh, The remote I got is a, um, it's a nice one, it's a Spectrum 8 channel, and what I like about it is it holds 30 planes in memory, 
and then it's also got an SD card that you put in and it saves all your information to that SD card and you can save it on your computer and then if you get over 30 planes you can take some out and put some right back in go on your computer take the ones out on the card and uh, put them right in the plane you can export them and import them all right I think I've actually hear my battery running down some so I'm just gonna come in a little early another thing with this remote is the timer uh, I used to keep forgetting to hit the switch for the timer. Now this one, uh, I've got it set so when the throttle goes over, uh, I might have to abort this one. Uh, when the throttle goes over th halfway, the timer starts. Uh, so that's a nice feature. Now, this plane is bone stock, guys. I'm running a 2650 MAH 3 cell with a 20C from hobbyparts.com. And uh, I did do the nose wheel fix, so, you know, do that. I gotta have a video on how to do the nose fix, it's cheap and bigger wheels and that kind of stuff and uh it's it's a fun plane it's a fun plane